Troops at Fort Hood are now trading in their trusty Humvees for new state-of-the-art vehicles. It is a move long overdue. 25 News reporter Adam Schindler is on post with more. For decades, the U.S. Army has pushed the Humvee to the limit. But now, those very same Humvees are heading to the museum. They're upgrading from this to this. The Joint Light Tactical Vehicle. We are using the American taxpayers' dollars very effectively. We are improving our ability um, to do what America needs us to do um, abroad and at home. Not only is a JLTV intimidating to see rolling in the battle, <sighs> it's equipped with the most advanced technology in the world. An upgraded co communications package, uh, the Seaburn JLTVs have a chemical detection uh, stuff built into it. And then the, um, we call them gun trucks, um, have the gun rings mounted on the top and they can be controlled from the inside. Providing even more protection than just a heavily armored exterior. But wait, there's more. It has cup holders. That bottle that I carry around in my hand, I could just be able to keep in a cup holder. You know, uh, those modern things that they added really shows that they thought about us and um, being missionary. Soldiers and their drinks sit safely inside while the JLTV is able to go places that the standard Humvee could only dream of. These come with a air shock suspension system which allows you to raise and lower the vehicle so it can handle different types of terrain more effectively than the Humvee can and it's less prone to um, breaking down when you're out in some more complicated terrain. Above all else, the JLTV will help bring our heroes home safe. I feel totally safe in them. Um, just the first time I looked in them, I was just assured that, yes, this is what we needed. Not only is the JLTV the most advanced and modern vehicle of its kind, it's also the most lethal, keeping the United States Army at its best. On Fort Hood, Adam Schindler, 25 News.